Just look at the average here. In an average year, we would pick up 14 named storms. NOAA is forecasting 17 to 25. Never been that high for the May release. Hurricanes, 8 to 13, typically 7. Major hurricanes, 4 to 7. Think about that. Some, you know, that range is double what we would typically expect during a season. So extremely busy forecast in the cards here. Uh, NOAA isn't the only outfit that forecasts hurricanes. There are many, actually, but the two uh, that, that are the most regarded are Colorado State and NOAA, both calling for an extremely active season. Again, these are the numbers that just came in this morning. 17 to 25, 8 to 13, 4 to 7 from NOAA. But you know, Colorado State is right there with them. 23 named storms. They don't do the range, but you get the idea. 23 named storms, 11 hurricanes, 5 major. And look at that compared to the average, right? Nearly double in, in some respects. Why is this happening? So many reasons. Let's just discuss a couple of them. What is this map that you're looking at? These are sea surface temperature anomalies. Fancy verbiage for where are the waters above average and where are the water temperatures below average right now? So anything in blue, these are temperature, water temperatures that are below where they would normally be this time of the year. Look at all of the yellow and orange, multiple degrees above average, not only for the Gulf of Mexico, southeast and down through the Caribbean, but most of the Atlantic, honestly, as we spin the globe here, look at all these above average, uh, all this above average water, just only a small area at or slightly below. So that's one of the major ingredients that hurricanes love, right? They, they use that as fuel. What hurricanes and tropical systems don't like is wind shear. And I don't know if you were listening to the whole report, but in a nutshell, uh, the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting a 70% chance of seeing La Nina, okay? And when you get a La Nina, which is generally speaking, below average water temperatures here along the west coast of the Americas, so North America and South America, typically you get cool, dry weather out over the eastern Pacific. Fewer hurricanes for the west coast. But the opposite is true as you look towards the Atlantic. Why? Less wind shear. What is wind shear? Fast moving winds. Hurricanes want still winds, calm, calm conditions, and warm water. It looks like we're going to get both of those here. We're just going to spin the globe, and all of those above average water temperatures combined with low wind shear uh, really does uh, give you the recipe that you don't want, right? So it looks like an above average season. And this just takes the cake. This is actually right now. Uh, hurricane season doesn't start until June 1st. But technically, we are watching an area of showers and thunderstorms a few hundred miles north of Hispaniola, but thankfully only a 10% chance of development. Most of the modeling that we're looking at uh, calls for not much to happen here as an area of low pressure. We do think will form, but this will lift north with, again, no major uh, impacts to anybody. So again, on top of all those big numbers, I, I do want to add Hurricane Center basically saying 85% chance you can have a calm season you know, and I always refer to Hurricane Andrew. That was an A storm in August. So that was a slow season. And obviously we all know what Andrew did. So this is why you always want to prepare no matter what the forecast is. But technically, technically, yes, we are forecasting a well above average season. All right.